today I am back working on my 2012 X Mine PX Ford Ranger. And what I'm going to be doing today is changing a few of the settings in the body control module. Now, if you've seen one of my previous videos, you would have seen that this car has a faulty battery monitoring sensor, which causes a battery light to come up on a dash. So instead of replacing that sensor and paying 300 bucks, I'm just going to disable it completely with Forescan. Now, I've already done a video on how to set up Forescan and how it all operates in one of my previous videos. So I'll throw a link in the top right hand corner. But on this video, we're just going to dive straight into it on how to program the modules. So first up, I'm going to be clicking on this little computer chip icon here. And once we're in the configuration and programming screen, we're going to select body control module main. And then we're going to go down and click on this little button down here, which is the play button. And now it's just telling me to put it in the HS cam position. So I'll flick my little switch over here to that position and click OK. Now it's going to come up with this. We just click OK. It's just loading up. It's telling me to turn off ignition and press OK. And now we are in the settings. In front of me, I have all the items that we can reconfigure on this Ranger. So the main one that I'm looking for is the battery and the headlights, though I'm going to just quickly go through a couple of the other settings here, just so you can have an idea of what we can change. So the first one that's of interest is tire circumference. So if we click on that one, and then we click on edit selection, it gives us the option to change the rolling circumference of the tire. So this Ranger has pretty much the same size as the standard wheels that are on it, even though they look a bit thicker. They are a 15 inch. So I'm not going to change anything here, but if you've got bigger wheels on your Ranger, this is the place where you come and change it. So essentially you can basically choose anything from here, but I'm going to leave this as is. So this is one that interests me here, automatic lights. I'm going to edit this setting because we don't want automatic lights. This was probably programmed by the person or by the company that did the mining fit out. However, I'm going to revert this back to without automatic lights because I live in the city and I don't really need the lights to be on all the time. And the last one that I'm doing is the battery monitoring sensor, which is this one here. So at present it has with battery monitoring sensor programmed and I'm going to reconfigure it to without battery monitoring sensor. And this will get rid of the light that's illuminated on the dashboard. Once we have all those programmed, we just click save. And if you want to save it, you can save it to a file. However, I'm going to go directly to right and it's going to just reconfirm what we've changed. We've got the automatic lights are uh, going to be disconnected and also we've got the battery monitoring sensor, which is also going to be disconnected and we click OK and it says, please turn your, on your ignition, but do not start the engine. And it is writing. So it is saying that we have been programmed successfully. So just tell me to recycle the ignition and turn back on and press OK. And that is done. Let's check if all these items have actually worked on the Ranger itself. I think that's a success because it would have turned on by now, which it hasn't. However, with our headlights, I haven't been able to turn them off. Off camera, I had a bit of a play with Forescan and I just can't seem to get the headlights to turn off when the car is turned on. For some reason, even though the lights are turned off here, every time I turn the ignition on, the headlights come on automatically. I can't figure it out. It must be the way the car is wired. Not really too much I can do here. However, we were successful in making the battery light disappear by turning off that battery monitoring sensor, which is a win. While I was in Forescan, I changed a few other settings with this Ranger, which I'll show you now. Some of these things I have to configure in engineering mode. And engineering mode, we basically, what you do is you come up here and select engineering mode. So we go all editable. And then now I can start 
basically changing the ones that I want to change. Another one I'm changing is automatic lock by speed. So without automatic lock by speed. So this is an annoying one that I just turned off, front door warning lamps. So you won't get that annoying chime every time your front door's open. So this is another cool feature that I just changed with the unlock setting. I chose one step opening instead of two. I know sometimes you click it once and it only opens the driver's door, where now when you click it once, it opens up all the doors. Speed limitation, this is another cool one. If you've got a fleet car or you own fleet cars, you can set the speed limit. So you can set them at 120 or there's various different speeds, which you can set them at. That's a wrap up for this video. I hope you got something out of it. And if you know how I can turn off these automatic daytime driving lights, please let me know in the comments. So until next time, see you guys later.